All right, on the count of three. We also mentioned the issues pertaining to water and uh, global development and its relationship to African development. And we noted that water goes together with energy, and that's one area that uh, should be looked at as a priority area for uh, future earth. We don't communicate with the stakeholders in well enough uh, clear ways and innovative ways and begin to think regional, go beyond borders and uh, integration of information across all disciplines and targeting multi-stakeholders is also important. There are more questions than there are existing programs in Africa. How do we really make sure that in responding to Future Earth and being part of Future Earth we do this in a business unusual way and um, moving the science and moving decision making from papers to implementation and just promoting uh, collaboration. So it's, it's issues like that uh, that, we've, that we've seen here a lot in the African context. But I think most and foremost they will say what is really new and we will and I will say there's not that much new but maybe the one thing that is new is the way we want to go about things. So the issues they are the same ones that we have been around since the last 10 years. We're using the environment too hard. There's maybe too many people on our planet to be wasteful. We have to be smart. But what is new is that we're offering up new ways to gather the knowledge that those of us in, in society that have to make decisions quite often don't have the information, the knowledge to make smart, you know, sustainable, forward-looking decisions and to, to close that knowledge gaps. For those of you who are not from South Africa, very welcome to our country. Uh, we're very uh, pleased that the University of Cape Town is hosting this event. Uh, I also have to thank the executive director of ICSU. The movement launched, as you heard, at the Rio Plus 20 Earth Summit four months ago by an alliance of international partners from global science, research funding, and United Nations bodies. Future Earth is a significant development because it is a worldwide interdisciplinary research program. But that's easier said than done. Very, very difficult challenge. So we really are going to have to look for different ways of doing things, radically different ways of doing things. And uh, the starting point is understanding, doing the research, and working out the, the different things that can and should be done. With those few words, thanks very much. How can Future Earth be most effective in the region? So in what ways should a Future Earth program actually, if you like, be implemented within a region? How should that be organized if we had a regional Future Earth program? Um, what are the specific capabilities that are needed to implement Future Earth in Africa? That's different to, the, if you like, the structure of the program, but the capabilities and, and capacities. And it would be very nice if every time somebody finished their um, their question to come up with one statement about what would success for Future Earth actually look like in Africa after 10 years. So if Future Earth was successful and we did a stock take in 10 years time, what would be the one thing that you would like to see as being a measure of success? Okay, there's a question at the back on the um, right there. Yeah. The science is a, for me a bit like a jigsaw where we filled in a lot of the pieces and we can already see the picture we can see what is happening. And we need more science, yeah, but should we wait until we've actually filled in all the jigsaw puzzles before we actually act? Social systems still have this idea if we provide information to decision makers that it somehow, somehow will lead to change. What we've got to do is influence very complex systems. Because no single person, no single policy maker, no single investor, no single technology inventor is going, to, is going to make that change. And so I think it's really about integrating the social processes, understanding it's not just about co-design. I think it's really about designing the solutions between people, the stakeholders, the people themselves, the African people themselves, and the researchers uh, in an iterative process.
uh, we have discussed a lot. The world is worrying about the future of the planet and Africa is being taken into consideration and people are asking what is the opinion of African countries uh, with issue dealing with the world. And I'm, I'm quite satisfied what has come out from this uh, conference and I hope there will be a follow-up. It will not be another talk shop, but it will be uh, everything that we decide here will be implemented further.